uh, course analysis. Uh, you are analyzing passages from the Bible, or from the from uh, any holy book, Quran, for example. You are obliged to list the, the holy book uh, in your list of references. So how can we list uh, the holy Quran, uh, Quran Karim, in uh, our list of references in both MLA and APA? And I want you again to answer this question: How should I put them? put the, the holy books in my in-text citation. So as you can see here, you should mention what? You should mention the verse. So you write holy Quran verse uh, and you write the surat and you write, uh, you write what? You write the page number. Okay, so it is the same like in Bible. New Jerusalem, Bible, Isaac and uh, here uh, there is uh, the, the chapter and there, there is the page number. This means that uh, the author doesn't, uh, the, the, the didn't take just from one page. It means that he took from two, uh, from two different pages, five and ten. Citing in direct sources, and this is what uh, my, uh, most of students find difficulties in citing in direct sources. Is it quoted or is it cited? Okay, uh, so for example, here Ravitch argues that high schools are pressed to act as social service centers and they do not uh, do that well. So, quoted in uh, Westman 259. Okay, so it is quoted, so it is the abbreviated form, and I gave you. Uh, a list of abbreviations used in uh, both MLA and APA and I want you uh, and I wish that you are uh, keeping the paper and you are going to work with that uh, in writing your dissertations uh, so you've got here quoted the abbreviated form in the abbreviated form after the abbreviated form uh, here you should put a, a, a full stop then in in Westman 259. Citing transcripts, plays, or screenplays. So it is the same. You keep here the section, as you can see, the section number or the chapter number, then the page number. Multiple citations. So to cite sources in the same parenthetical reference, separate what the the citations by semicolon. Okay. So here I'm paraphrasing, and I found that these uh, authors share the same idea. So I took from book page two, three, and I took also from uh, from the we page twenty one. So I'm going to cite both. Both separating them with what? Separating them with a semicolon and listing them following what? Following alphabetical order. Time-based media sources. I took from media. I took from uh, social media. So I, I should list how many minutes or seconds or uh, hours the exact time. Okay. Let us now uh, ask ourselves when a citation is not needed and we uh, here uh, tackle this question are we going to cite everything? So in this case you can say that we can't cite common knowledge common knowledge that all people know for example it is expected that US citizens know that George Washington was the first president in this case, I'm not going to cite because you all people uh, know that George Washington uh, was the first president of the US. So in this case, we are not going to cite. It is, why? Because it is common knowledge. How to cite to work with no known author? So we have seen that. Authors with same last name, you have seen that. When an idea can be attributed to more than one source in uh, your work cited list, separate the source with the semicolon, as we have seen. Uh, 
Cycle souls found another soul. And I want you to uh, hear, to uh, answer what is the difference between cited in and quoted in. Sources without page number. And this is what I'm going to talk about. So we have seen in APA that when there is no page number, we are going to count paragraph numbers. Uh, so in case of MLA, for example, uh, I took the, the information from uh, a book in which there are chapters. I'm going to mention the number of chapters. There, uh, in some cases, you can find books, mainly e-books, uh, in the net without page number. Although in the original printed version, the, 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 there, is page, um, there are page numbers or numbers for pages, but in uh, in the electronic version, there is no uh, page number. In this case, I am going to uh, here to put the number of the chapter, and it is the same. Here. If you are taken, it is the same like in uh, APA. If you are taken from uh, uh, here from the website, I am going to to count paragraph number, and instead of writing uh, para in, like in uh, in, uh, in in APA, I am going to write just per P A R. It is not like in uh, APA P A R A. You are going just to write P A R and you put the page number. So these are the references that I took from uh, them uh, or based on them I prepared this PowerPoint. So I hope that you have an idea about how to uh, use MLA in your in-text citation. Uh, and if you have any questions concerning how to uh, either to list references in MLA or to use uh, the, the sources in your in-text citation, you can uh, email me. I need you I also need you to answer uh, the questions that I uh, um, yeah, have already given you and uh, I will send you a practice uh, through which uh, I need you to um, hear, I need uh, to have an overview about your knowledge on how to put uh, um, sources in your in-text citation in MLA and um, I want you, if you have any comments uh, about uh, uh, in here about uh, whether it is difficult to cite uh, sources in only text citation in MLA and what is the difference in the, between both MLA and APA in text citation. So I wish you the best and uh, concerning the lecture, I will send you some lectures uh, in research methodology, some practice about uh, uh, the literature review of uh, articles and the literature review of uh, uh, a dissertation, some comments. I'm going to take uh, a dissertation as a case study and I'm going to send you my uh, comments on how the student prepared his literature review, uh, whether he or she respected the uh, techniques uh, in writing, the different techniques of writing the literature review so uh, what I can say I wish you the best and uh, uh, Allah protect us all and bye bye